Meghan and Harry taught their tense guttural reaction to Roe Wade reversal. Men need to be vocal in this moment and beyond because these are decisions that affect relationships, families, and communities at large, Meghan said while discussing the reversal of Roe v. Wade. Meghan Markle is sharing her and Prince Harry's reaction to the reversal of Roe v. Wade. In a Vogue feature published on Tuesday, Meghan spoke with journalist Jessica Yellen on the impact of the Supreme Court's decision, calling for men to speak up. Men need to be vocal in this moment and beyond because these are decisions that affect relationships, families, and communities at large, said Meghan. They may target women, but the consequences impact all of us. My husband and I talked about that a lot over the past few days. He's a feminist too. Discussing Harry's thoughts on the decision, Meghan said, his reaction last week was guttural, like mine. I know that for so many women right now, there is a sentiment of despair. But again, we have to band together and not wallow. We have to do the work, the Duchess of Sussex added. Continued Meghan, this moment requires unity really listening to people. Understanding the Constitution was written at a time, when women were second-class citizens. We are not. Certain things need to change. I think it's equally about honoring the people who've been doing the work long before us, like, feminist icon, Gloria, Steinem. I'm grateful that I'm holding a baton right there next to her and that we will continue to be doing this work together. Like Meghan, many women have publicly reacted to the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade on Friday. Comedian and actress Tiffany Haddish shared her thoughts. Before hosting the Hollywood Unlocked second annual Social Impact Awards on Friday, I think it's about locking up people of color. I think it's a way to put more people in jail. And I also think it's a way to control women's bodies, Haddish said just after the Supreme Court's decision. That's why I'm going to run for Congress. I'm going to write a bill to make it illegal for men to masturbate. How about that? Calling the news upsetting. Haddish also told how the ruling will create more suffering. If you're going to make it illegal for me to make choices with my body, then it should be illegal for you to masturbate because you're killing people when you do that, she shared in part. Roe v. Wade was the landmark Supreme Court decision of 1973 that granted women the right to an abortion in every state. The Supreme Court's 6-3 ruling now eliminates the constitutional right to an abortion. It reverses nearly 50 years of precedent and will completely change the landscape of women's reproductive rights. By giving individual states the power to decide whether to allow the procedure. The Sussexes return to their UK home in June. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have received support from the palace over their rental contract at their UK home. Frogmore Cottage, which has been described as a good deal for the taxpayer. Prince Harry and Meghan paid £2.4 million to cover the refurbishment and rental of their Windsor home, and recently renewed the lease, suggesting they intend to spend more time there with their two children, Archie and Lilibet, in the future. Speaking about the contract, a senior royal source said the rent has been calculated by reference to market valuations for a property of that nature. The National Audit Office and the Treasurer were satisfied with the way the transaction had been accounted for and the commercial return for the sovereign grant, the source revealed, adding. I can be confident in saying that this is a good deal for the sovereign grant and the taxpayer alike. While they may have only visited a home once in the two years since their relocation to California, Prince Harry and Meghan continue to fund the general upkeep of their former home, like maintaining the garden. With the sovereign grant, the funding system for the monarchy and royal building works. Effectively acting as the landlord, undertaking major works like a normal tenant-landlord relationship. The Great II listed property is owned by the Crown Estate and was a gift to Harry and Meghan from the Queen. It underwent significant work to convert it from five properties into a single residence at a cost of £2.4 million, which has since been paid by the Duke and Duchess. While the couple left the property after just a few months when they stepped back from royal duties and relocated to the US. They have allowed Princess Eugenie to live there with her husband Jack Brooksbank and their son August over the past year. The family are now believed to have moved out of the home, and are dividing their time between Portugal and Nottingham Cottage at Kensington Palace, which was also once home to Prince Harry and Meghan. Prince Harry and Meghan live in an incredible Montecito mansion along with their children Archie and Lilibut.
but as well as the main property, the couple have a separate two-bedroom guest house, where it's believed Megan's mother Doria Ragland comes to stay. While there is plenty of room in the nine-bedroom main house for Doria, having a separate building to herself will provide her with ample amounts of privacy during her prolonged visits. The condo also has two bathrooms and is likely to be decorated beautifully just like the rest of the couple's stunning home. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos, thank you very much.